Hi, this is Laura with Create Thou Art. Today we are going to work on sanding and staining and varnishing this old rocking chair that is on our back porch and it just needs some love and some freshening up. So our 15 minutes, which will be more than 15 minutes, but our art break today is talking about uh, refinishing a piece of furniture. And so we're going to talk about how that works in the process and some of the prof the products that you could use and um, just kind of the fun that it could be. So give it a try. Stay tuned and watch. Okay, we're back and we are all dry. So what I find that I do is that I want to try some different colors. So I'm not quite sure what color I want to use yet. So a trick that I do is that you find a part of the piece that you aren't going to really see. And so you just test it. You do some experimenting. And if you don't like it, then you can go over it with a different color. And sometimes it'll change the shade with wax or with a stain. You can even mix the stain colors to so there's an enormous amount of color choices, especially if you're mixing them. Um, I have never had a problem with it. I'm not a chemist, and so I don't uh, give any guarantee, but I have never had a problem where I can take, like I needed a little bit darker than this color, or I needed almost that other shade, and I have mixed them together in one extra little tube and created my own color and never had a problem. So I'm going to take, I have three colors that I was thinking of. This one I know is going to be way too red and I don't want it to be red. So I'm not even going to try that one. Um, and know that whenever they come out, the darkness of the stain is based on the density of your wood. I'm sure there's a more technical term than that, but I just, the harder the wood, the less that seeps of the stain seeps in. So it doesn't get as dark and you may have to do more coats. It may never be like you could use two different kinds of wood and the same stain and one wood will come out really dark and the other one won't hardly look like you did anything to it. So you just have to experiment and see what you can do. Um, what I've done on the woods that where it doesn't seep in very much is you might even consider a gel stain because then that kind of, it stains it, it lets you see the wood through it, but it sits more on top and doesn't seep into the wood and that might be an option to consider. So just, again, the whole idea of not being scared to try to do something. So find a piece, a, an old piece at a thrift store and practice on it. And if you, um, if it, you mess it up, again, stained wood is really not going to be um, messed up. Very, it, it may just be a color you end up not liking, um, but it's a good way to practice. Or, you know, lots of people will set an old chair out on the side of the road find an old chair and, and just practice with some stain and, and all that. So I'm going to do these colors and come up with which one I want and then we'll be back. So give me just a second. Okay, well I've done the first one, the first color, and it was a little bit dark. So I'm going to try the second color and I thought I might as well have you guys watch while I do it. So one thing to know is that um, you need to stir this stain really well because the settlement the sediments will have settled in the bottom so and then even during sometime different um when while you're doing it i had just have a stir stick this kind of gives you an idea too of what so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the thing out of the jar and you can let it sit on there and stay and get darker and then rub it off but if you rub it off, so that, see, that's kind of what it looks like after you're done. And that kind of gives you an idea of what it might look like. And I think based on what was there, that's still a little redder. So it's like almost what I had before was probably, may, may have been better. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put this on and see what I think. And maybe this is a situation where I mix some. So what I'm doing, you use this unless you want your hands to be nice and um, stained for a while. And then I just use an old rag because you're going to throw it away. So just take an old rag, t-shirt or something, tear it up, dip it in here. Some folks use a brush, but I like the control I get with a, just an old rag. So let's see. See, I'm just rubbing it on. And this is the bottom. 
of the rocker. So crisps on the side here. Let's see how that's going to look. It may not. It may not be dark enough. So I may have to go with that darker one. Let me let me go back to that darker one and see what I think. There's not a lot left in this little one. Now this is one of those cases where I get I did not strip it. And so, because there is still some stain and varnish left, the, the stain really won't go where the varnish was, um, or the varnish still is, which is why people strip it off. This is on the bottom, and so it's not as um, worn, and so it does have a lot more uh, varnish still on it. But it can, it gives, kind of gives me an idea of what this would look like. I think I like that. Maybe after all, I do like that darker one. So, not necessarily and in the way that it looks. So I'm gonna turn this sideways, maybe. So you can kind of see this. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I am gonna use this darker one. And see, it looks almost black when it comes out of here, but so watch, when I put this on, it just kind of soaks in, and it will get a little lighter as it dries. So again, you always test an area, um, you always test an area. And this is a rocker, it's gonna be out on the back porch, so it's not gonna be pristine. So like here, some of this, this got darker than this is because this is where the the, var the previous varnish was. And so it may end up looking a little splotchy in those areas. You know, I, sometimes I, I like that. Um, if I was wanting it like pristine and perfect, then yes, then you probably could have come and I could have sanded that a little bit more and gotten that varnish off. Um, however, it's gonna, it's, it's going to look just fine um, once we get it all done. Again, I could have used a lighter stain and it would have matched it more, but I like this dark. Um, I like the dark. So again, you just take kind of what you've got and see what you think. I might have a lighter one somewhere um, in my stuff. What's this one? This one's the Provincial. I really like Provincial. That's the one I use most. Um, but again, it all depends on how, how much your stain, how much your wood takes the stain. So, and this is taking it pretty good because it's making it dark. But, and again, I'm down at the bottom, so if I change my mind, it's not overall the whole thing. I don't know, I could go get another one and see. I don't know, can you see that? I think it looks, it looks okay. We'll, uh, again, once it gets a little darker, maybe it is too dark. Maybe I'll let it sit and just see what I think. Rub it off a little bit more. This side over here. Do the bottom. Well, before I get too far, I may just again Always take the few minutes to double check and make sure it's what you want before you keep going. I'm going to go um, around the corner and get my one that's a little bit lighter and see if I like that one any better. Okay, so I tried another can and this one I've marked mixture. So I'm not even sure what's in here. Probably natural and then something to make it just a little bit darker. And in my opinion, I like it. I like it the best because it's got just a nice brown look and it's not real red. Uh, maybe a hint of orange, which just seems closer to what was on there before. So it'll blend in better. So I'm going to use my rag 
And because it's going to be on the back porch in the weather, it's a covered back porch, but it still gets the humidity of Missouri. I'm going to go ahead and stain all of this, even though it wasn't stained before. Um, and that way it'll kind of pr help protect it a little bit too. So, um, and it just helps to replenish the wood and kind of give it a new, give it new life. So I'm going to work on this and um, we'll chat again when I get done with all that. So see you then. except for the back. I don't know if you can see there how kind of how pretty it is. And so um, we'll see the difference between the, the back before and the back after. And I'm really liking how rich this color is. It's looking really wonderful. Um, I can't wait to get it varnished and back out on the porch. See you in a few minutes. <music> been varnished or uh, stained so I don't know if you can see I don't know if it really shows up there I'm kind of crooked here um, just how beautiful it turned out I'll take I'll have some before and after pictures but um, to me it is really perfect so now we'll let it dry probably for 24 hours give it a good wipe down and I'll actually I'll probably wipe it down here pretty much in in a few minutes, give it a good wipe down with a clean, fresh cloth, and then let it sit for 24 hours, and then I will uh, polyurethane it tomorrow. So check in later. Hi, Laura with Create Their Art. We are back, and it is dried for 24 hours, and now we're getting ready to put a first coat of varnish on it. And you hear a lot about varnish and polyurethane, and they are slightly different, and you can do uh, a better job of googling or looking that up is to tell the difference than I can than I can explain um, but what we're using today is a spar urethane and it is different in that it will allow because it's going to be outside and on uh, the porch in in the weather it's not going to get direct rain but it's going to be humid and moisture and all that and maybe in the sun we're going to use a spar urethane which has more protection against that so um, we're gonna start uh, varnishing it. I'm using a brush. Now one thing, you want to stir this, like with paint, they put it in a shaker and shake it up to mix it really well uh, before you take it home. And then they want you to stir it later. But this, we don't shake this because you don't want bubbles in this. So this you just stir really well. And, um, and so let's see, we're just going to, I'm gonna, I stirred it and this is a semi-gloss because I wanted more than just a little shine like a satin shine um, and you, again there's no one that's better than the other it's just what your personal preference is so I didn't want a super shiny and just like this I'm using a, a brush it's just a cheap brush because um, this is not water cleanup and so then that's all you do. Just a light coat. We're not going for lots 
here you just want to cover the whole thing and try to get a nice smooth whatever nice smooth um, stroke and coverage and then you don't put too much because you don't want it to drip you can always come back and get more so I'm just gonna keep putting it on what's kind of cool is that it's wet so you can see where you've been and where you haven't see it's very clear to see where I where I have brushed and where I have not so again if you think you want to give it a try it's not that hard it's actually to me it's easier than painting um, with paint painting a uh, chair or, or table or whatever so uh you know give it a shot and let's see what it looks like when we're done Hello. Okay, so I have done one light coat of the varnish over the whole bottom. And one thing I may not have said, or maybe you saw in the video, although it was really fast, is that I kept coming back and kind of going over where I had been, especially where it looked like it might be pooling or dripping or running. So that I just kind of kept going back and kind of smoothing it out. And I use a sponge instead of a brush because it just seems to it just seems to go on better um, for me. It's kind of personal preference. And I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit before I flip it over. Um, let's see if it says how long I have to dry. I'll make sure I turn don't. Um, let dry at least four hours. Oh no, that's just to sand. Um, well, it says I have to dry it for after four hours. I could sand and um, and apply a second coat. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wait four hours to do and do the second coat here. I'm going to probably wait an hour see if I can get it where it's not super tacky because it's real sticky right now and it would it it's like putting your fingernail and finger polish. It, it, it isn't going to work right. Um, but I'm going to do that and then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Um, if I wait, I could wait four hours and then do this side and not worry about the flipping. And I might end up doing that too because it all in the end is all about the same. Um, unless I could flip it sooner than that. I don't know. I'll just have to try and then we'll see what, what happens. Um, but that's kind of what we're doing for today. Well, it's been an hour, and so I'm going to, I flipped over the chair. It was enough to touch. You can see, I don't know if you can see, there a few little drips came through. I think you can see right here and over here. Um, so I, uh, it's still soft enough. I can kind of rub those out a little bit. And then if I put this polyurethane over that, um, it'll be fine, especially because we're going to do one coat and then do a light sanding and then come back and do another coat. So... I was able to flip this over that way I did not have to wait four hours I just waited one hour and then when I'm all done then I'll wait the four hours uh, from when I start finish the other side to flip it back over and um, finish the other and then do the second coat on the other side um, so I need to wait at least four hours I could also just wait and do the second coat tomorrow um, but we'll see how, how it all dries. If it dries enough that I can sand it today, uh, later after four hours, then that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get started.
right, here we are. It has had a second coat. I let it sit 24 hours and went ahead and put a second coat on it. And so it looks really nice. I will let it dry probably two days before we actually sit in it and use it. Um, the jar says it'll take probably, oh, 10 days for it to cure and uh, to be really, really as hard as it's going to get or more, 30 days. But I think it turned out wonderful. Thanks for sharing the journey with me. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for following createthouart.com. Bye-bye.